Kat, and I'm here to talk to you about how a thermometer works today. I'm going to do a quick demo for you with my homemade thermometer. This has a large glass test tube with a glass tube that is in a rubber stopper that fits right in the top of the test tube. Inside the test tube is just some water with some blue food coloring so it's easier to see. So I'm going to put the stopper on. What you'll see is that the inner tube has a little bit of the water pulled up into it. Okay. On my lab bench, I have two beakers of water. The beaker here on the left, if you look carefully around the beaker, you can see some condensation. Maybe you can see some steam coming up because this is hot water. This one is just room temperature water. So I'm going to take my thermometer and place it into the hot water. And what you should notice is as the liquid inside the thermometer heats up, it's going to move up inside that glass tube on the inside. Okay. So it's traveled up. Now you can see it's even gone over where the rubber stopper is. Okay. And it'll continue to heat up as the liquid, the water inside heats up. Okay. If I take that thermometer out of the hot water, you'll start to see the liquid travel down even faster if I put it into the room temperature water. Got a little bit of condensation still on the outside of the thermometer from the hot water and the steam. You can see that the blue liquid is traveling down inside of that inner tube of the thermometer. So what we're going to ask you to do now is to think about what might be happening to make this thermometer work. Um, you'll draw some particle diagrams and give an explanation, and then we'll talk about what's actually happening inside the thermometer to make it work.